Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of not all ages. Welcome to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We are here. We are back. We are here to play episode two. Now, before we get started in episode two, I have something to say. I know there hasn't been videos for like a week and a half. Well, the reason for that is... I went on Twitter and I was like, hey guys, hey guys, listen. The weather around here, not good, right? Trees around here, be falling. When trees be falling, sometimes, you know, cords get fall too. Fuck, like, power, power towers and shit. Power towers, what am I saying? Fucking, you know what I mean? The power lines get fucked up and shit. So for the whole week and a half, no internet. No internet, no Wi-Fi, no nothing. The only thing I had was my phone because I was using my cellular cell, cell, blah, blah, cellular data, data, wherever the fuck. And I went on Twitter and I was like, guys, so sorry. There's nothing I can do. So, Live Strange Episode 2 has been out for like a fucking, like a week. And I don't, like, I haven't played it. This is coming soon still, right? Yeah, okay, just making sure. Like, first of all, I didn't even know it was out. Second of all, like, when I went to go record it, it was like, no internet, we can't verify that you own this content. And I was like, okay, whatever, PlayStation, you piece of shit. So, we're here. We're back. Life Strange episode 2. We're gonna get straight into it. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hal. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Let it all burn. Burn to the ground. Oh, is he getting in trouble for the shit he pulled? Uh, I don't remember his name, but he was that nerdy guy's brother, right? Miss Price. How good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... Sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Wait, I'm sorry? I, like, blacked out for a moment. Because this guy is just full of shit after the shit he pulls in the first game. Anyways, uh... Don't screw up, I guess. Uh, don't get in trouble again. Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's that? Whatever, Principal Blackwell or whatever the fuck your name is. 
You're full of shit. Dedicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. With who? Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan. Excuse me? The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Thanks, Mom. You got my back. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Uh. Well, ain't no way I'm gonna calm that man down, so I'm guessing I'm gonna reassure Mother over here. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? I'm expelled now. You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to- I need to do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. Oh, what is this bullshit that Rachel is spewing right now? Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Of course I can, Rachel. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe. Is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Those fucking crocodile tears. Miss Price. Oh shit. Yeah, fine. Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Mmm. I'm just gonna lay back. You got it, moms? no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years... You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. 
This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. Because you're our special little flower. Our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Oh shit! Victoria is her understory. She's a bitch. Did I just say understory? I meant understudy. What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Yeah, go fuck yourself, Wells. Uh, nah, gotta save that play. Is Rachel missing the play for me? But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Alright, to see it in back talk, listen to the opponent and choose a related comeback. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Mm. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Uh. You should confess. She just wants attention. Confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Mm. Fine. I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. Uh... Why not leave it a bang? This is my swan song. My farewell to Black Hell. I'm only sorry I had but one fuck off to give. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the I saved the day. That's how I did it. Is that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I mean, Chloe never really gave a fuck about the school, to be honest, is she? Even I don't give a fuck about the school that much. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. 
I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. This is Price. I'm Rose. This is James. This is James, my cheating scumbag husband. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. You pretty cool, Skippy? Hey. You cool like the fucking peanut butter? Just wanted to say, it sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Oh, there's a cat photo. Look at that cat photo. Look at it. Bongo was a stray cat before we rescued her. Then she got run over by a car. Moral of the story, n no one's ever really rescued. Ah. Oh. Damn. Well, I'll take that with me. Got some homework. Yeah, it is trash. I love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Oh, I've been there too, Chloe. I've been there too. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. Trash that shit. What the fuck? Oh my god, the sensitivity on this camera is just bullshit. Signatures. I will sign that. Chemistry book. Got some doodles. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Fucking like crow for some reason. Another locker. Wait, hold up. Maybe Kim was the class I hate. Move, 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 move. Fuck. Move. I want to see. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things. Alright, well, damn, this sensitivity is killing me. Is the stash inside the book? Oh, wait. Damn, never mind. Hmm. If Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking... Okay. Who needs English? Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. You know, this whole entire leaving the school sequence is taking way longer than it fucking should have. Oh, I was trying to look at the little, little like packet down there or whatever the fuck that is. Like the box. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. <laughs> Chloe! Hey, uh, had to borrow your stash. <laughs> Despite uh, desperate times, you know, I promise I'll get back to you next week, Justin. You fucking pothead. You fucking piece of shit. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Time to start fucking shit up. Clog up toilets and shit.
man i just realized i stopped talking because i was enjoying the scene fuck i'm gonna get copyright strikes because this song is fucking bullshit oh wow damn very artistic chloe woman take over forever emergency break glass nah let's see deck nine yeah because it's not made by donut donut's making a proper sequel i'm leaving rachel Wow, I'm just waiting for Chloe to just bust her ass. You know, realistically, I'm surprised that she can do all this within a span of like five minutes. It seems like it would take more than that. Seems like this would take at least 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn, Chloe. You're like fucking what's his face. <laughs> Enjoy your time, Victoria. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> Who? Uh, such anarchy. Who would possibly do this? Only savages. Uncultured fucks. Oh shit, I forgot about David. I forgot about David. He's gonna fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna end up busting his head with a fucking, like, with a wrench. He gonna say some crazy shit. Later, Skip. Later. Later, Tater. Looks like David's here. Oh, uh, yeah, I got some texts. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, wait. Stop texting. I want to read it. I want to read it. Go up. There we go. Okay. Uh, Where does it start? Where the fuck does it start? All right, I made it into my house without seeing either of my parents. Sweet. You were born to be a spy. Jumping off the train and shit. Oh man, we make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Haha, <laughs> meanwhile, you're deep undercover as a passed out person. Lol, today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah. You know what doesn't suck? What? You. You also don't suck. I know. We should probably sleep. Got Wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Wells blows. That meeting's hell sucked. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Oh, that's cool. Got some new messages for mom. Uh, shit. Okay, where are we? Your school called. I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Chloe? Chloe? Chloe, I'm worried about you. Please let me know you're okay. Chloe, did you hear this fire? Please text me so don't worry. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, please. It's f I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Come home by curfew. We have the meeting early tomorrow. Again, Chloe, really? Chloe, you can't keep doing this to me. I'm trying my best. Got Elliot. Uh, let's see. Holy shit, did you get Wells text about the fire? You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, just in my room. Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? Uh, from... Oh, yeah, so it's just urgent weather, fire, whatever. How the fuck does he have my phone number? Oh, never mind. Chloe's probably one of those students where it's like, put your, put your extra contact just in case for emergencies. And then instead of putting your parents' number, you put your own number. Because you're like, fuck you. You're not going to call them about my missed assignments and shit. Anyways, members of the Blackwell community, please be advised that a fast-moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of communal, uh, fuck, Communalation State Park. Or whatever the fuck that says. I hope that I read that right. I have spoken with Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, who do not believe any 
evacuations are necessary at this time as the Blackwell campus is not within the affected area or the fire current project uh, f projected path. Please utilize caution while traveling to the form uh, to the form to and from campus. Facility and staff have been asked to waive punctually requirements and all the bullshit. And yeah. Awesome. Hey, look at this announcement. Oh my God! Is there please options? God damn it! It's just oh, it's just bad. It, it's it's fucking like terrible. Like, it sways so much. Like, it sways so much. Max would have loved this shit. Uh, what does it say? Blackwater Academy of the Future needs excellences, uh, excellency. Because of a uh, generous grant from Prescott Foundation, Blackwell is offended. Several new law courses next fall, blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. Okay, whatever. That's cool. Uh, to move faster. R2. Oh, what's in here? Drug free zone. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Damn, Chloe, you're stupid. Hey, man, maybe I can just run away and end it all right now. Before the storm comes. Look at this car. Is this, whose car is this? Is this Wells' car? Is this Wells? Can I, can I fuck it up? Wells' car. Crushing spirits. I would have slashed his fucking tires. Nobody could stop me. What the hell is this? Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their... Hey, Elliot, what's up, bro? Broski? Hey, Elliot. Bro dude guy? What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Don't you fucking touch me. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you... Do you not like Rachel? I... I thought I should come early to grab tickets. That sounds sketchy. Sound like you're lying to me. Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh. Yeah. Good call. That was... Did you get my text? About hanging out afterwards? Shit. Oh, some shit's gonna go down. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I can see it now. Anyways, uh, did I get your text? No. <laughs> Sorry, Elliot, but I'm probably. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna try and stab Rachel. You know, I see it in his eyes. Celebration and whatever. Oh, cool. That makes sense. Listen, Elliot, I don't like you. Better go. I'm gonna be honest. Mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. See, Elliot. You're trying to be like that fuck Warren and go ape or wherever the fuck. At least you're better than Warren. I think that's his name, right? Like, I barely gave a fuck about him. I barely gave two fucks. Uh, let me see. Oh, what's this? What the fuck? Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. No more extracurricular activities. No more curricular activities either. Do 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 do. Ooh, this car. This car belongs to someone. I'm gonna take a guess. Justin, maybe? Piss head much? That has to be Skip's car. Oh. Yeah, piss has the name of his band or whatever. I'm surprised that I even fucking remember that. Uh. My other vehicle is drama. Yeah, it's really fucking. That's really fucking gross, actually. Uh. Oh wait, yeah, this is Elliot's car. Wait, what? Oh, fire safety thing. Uh. 
Wait. Tom Sawyer. Or Sawyer. Or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Okay. Well, time to go. Uh, ooh, what's the skateboard? At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. I remember I took up skateboarding. And then I gave up like two seconds. David, please. Oh, David, I'm going to fuck. Yo, you're going to get brained. I swear. I swear. I see it already. Don't you fucking look at me like that, David. Chloe, your mother and I have been. Yeah, I bet you have. Uh. Can we do this later? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I expect to handle it with my mother and not with you. I need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. I'm using it with you. She's my mother, motherfucker. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. I mean, I try listening to you. You're being a real dick in the car. Or how to be a soldier. Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers Then I'm a loser. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Uh. Well, no wrong working at a diner. There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? Oh my god, I have had this talk like so many times in my life. I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? I'd like to start over, David. But you say some shady shit. So I'm gonna give you a final chance, motherfucker. Although I know what happens in, in the first game. But anyways, I'll give you a final chance. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on... I will be assisting your mother in a few areas, like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Okay, that's standard. That's a standard. Can't be too mad about that, Chloe. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? All right, well, maybe that's a little bit too far. You have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom. Where I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. See, I pressed the reset button. And now you're giving demands. Hmm. Hmm. You're giving demands. But you know, fuck it. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? Reset button, Who's press, motherfucker. Than invading someone's privacy, doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Oh. 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 
this is such bullshit because we all know Chloe be smoking some shit. Anyways, uh, listen, I forgive you. I forgive you. You are under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Huh. No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. I feel like this is bullshit. Personally. <sighs> you're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. It's not the only answer you have. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Are you saying my home is not stable? It's pretty bold of you. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. I love how, El <laughs> I love how Elliot's like, yo, what the fuck? He just saw the whole thing. I forgot he was there too. He's like, yo, Chloe, what the fuck was that? She's like, not now, dickhead. <laughs> not now. Don't fucking touch me. 